All right, for this problem, uh, we're supposed to solve it. And I look at those denominators. I have a 2 and I have an x. So my lowest common denominator is 2x. So I'm going to multiply everything by that. So uh, the first term gets multiplied by it. Uh, the next term, it's getting distributed on this side. And then this one gets multiplied by it as well. And remember that 2x, that's like a 2x over 1. So what's convenient is we can do some some uh, reducing, like those x's divide out to a 1, those 2's divide out to a 1. And if I do that, what I have left here is 2 times 3, which is 6. Uh, 2x times 2x, which is 4x. And those 2's divided out, so just x over 1, which is x. Then I can go to solve that. Um, so I'll subtract 4x from both sides. Divide by negative 3. And it looks like x is negative 2. Let me plug it back in to uh, make sure that it... Chuck, check. Uh, I want to check it. So plug in negative 2. So 3 divided by negative 2 plus 2. Does that, in fact, equal 1 half? Uh, this is uh, negative 1 and a half. So negative 1 and a half plus 2 is 1 half. That checks out. 